Hi, I'm Anthony at JJ Cookson. I'm going to be showing you around this 2008 GT line and what main features come along with it. So first thing we've got are the alloy wheels. Got your rear tinted windows, as you can see. Come around the back. You do have your rear parking sensors across the bumper, which are very useful. I'll quickly show you the boot size. As you can see, you do have a good boot size. It does also come with the flat bottom, which makes it easy for you to get things in and out of the boot, which is good. I'm going to show you the interior design. Come on the front, as you can see at the bottom you do have your fog lights, which are very useful. I'm going to show you what features come on the inside now. So the first thing we've got on the touch screen is you've got your digital radio, which is good because it means you can listen to a wider range of radio stations. It does also come with Bluetooth, so if you wanted to listen to your own music, you do you can you do also get that option as well. If you press menu, you can just get your radio by pressing the top left button there. If you look underneath it, it does come with a sat nav, which is very useful. If you come down, as you can see, you've got your climate control, so you can change the temperature of the driver's side, and you can also do the same for the passenger side as well. This button here is where you want the air to be blowing, as you can see the arrow is changing as I press it. And these two buttons here are your fan power, as you can also see you've got your aircon there as well. If you come down, as you can see, you do have a USB slot on the right, which is good because it means you can charge your phone while you're driving. And it does also mean you've got uh, access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. If you look underneath that, you do have an aux jack as well, which is an alternate way for you to listen to your own music. And on the left, you do have a scratch charging socket as well. If you look down, you've got two drink holders, some extra space for your phone, or any other items you might want to put in there as well. If you come down, you've got your grip control. So if you're driving on tarmac, you'd have it on this setting. If it was snowing, you'd change it to that one. If you're on mud, sand, if you wanted to turn it off, you can do that as well. If you look up, as you can see, you do have a glass roof. You can close the electric blind if you wanted to by simply just pressing down on this button next to the handbrake. As you can hear it's coming over. And to reopen it, simply just press the opposite way. You pull up on it. Another feature I want to quickly show you. Put the car into reverse. You can see it does come with a reversing camera, which is good because it means you can clearly see what's behind you while you're reversing, which is good. Thank you for watching. If you need any further information, give us a call or drop us an email.